is going on YouTube? Jibby World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. And normally, we would be chasing this great, great bird. What am I even saying? This is why I'm done with this. We are normally chasing this Brett Saberhagen amazing 12 game reward, but I've got an announcement to make. And for those of you who already follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you probably already know, and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this because we're no longer doing MLB on this channel. MLB is absolutely dead. Why guys? This is why guys. Now that I have close to 3,000 stubs, not stubs, I, I have more than 3,000 subs. Now that I have close to 3,000 subs, I'm a big time on YouTube. I, I made like 7 million last month, and I was able to buy myself uh, a vloggers, uh, pretty much this is step one to vlogging. So this is becoming a vlogging channel. I'm done with YouTube. I would open this, but I, I don't have a, a box opening knife, which most YouTubers have. Um... So hold on, Norm. I'll be I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I got my pocket knife from my car. Shouts out to Static Gaming. I think I stole this from him when we lived together. So, oh, I don't even think I needed the pocket knife for this. For, yeah, I didn't even need this. Regardless, guys, now that I'm a big YouTuber, I need you guys to start sending stuff to my PO box. Like pocket knives, send me a bunch of those. Uh, it's what um what's what's my PO box sixty nine sixty nine um Jimmy World not a real YouTuber Lane sh Street address garbage you gotta throw stuff too garbage um where's what I came for what is this is this the actual camera got psych <laughs> all right guys so here is my camera and it's freaking dead. This, this camera came dead. So I'm gonna charge it, and then I'm gonna wake up in the morning and just film everything I do all day, and that's what I'm gonna do from now on. You guys think I'm joking, I'm 100% serious. This is the new life for me, right here. All right guys, I'm recording my first vlog now. All right guys, so, so here is, my setup's kinda shit, and it's kinda messy, but I gotta keep my water. What, what am I watching? I was watching some FaZe Rug video, apparently. Um, anyways, there my place. I got two desks, a couple lights, the green screen, the bathroom, and my office. I got three random-ass monitors. One's like an insignia. I really only use that to watch vi videos in full screen. Um, this is an Asus. And then I got my BenQ monitor. BenQ is where it's at. I need the more expensive one so I can, uh, what's it called? Have less lag when I hit. That's probably why I suck. But anyways, I got lights. Got my flag. I, I My lighting situation is terrible, which is why my green screen constantly does weird shit. Um, but, yeah, that there, there's really nothing to it. My camera's there. There's... That's, that's pretty much it. So now I'm probably gonna go like skydiving or jump out of a helicopter without a parachute and just do cool things. And that's gonna be my life from now on. And then uh, I'll just uh, get back to you guys once I wake up. Let me see how do I work this. There I can see myself. Here's my green screen. Okay, how, how, do, how do professional vloggers hold that? All right, we hold it like this. All right, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to go take a nap, watch a movie or something, uh, and then I'm going to get back to this vlog. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I know I am. Wait, I got to do something like this. <laughs> that was so corny. So as many of you may know, I recently got sponsored by Jivy Fuel. I got my own flavor and all, it's called Jiviade. 
Uh, even comes with my own shaker called the Jivy Shaker. Uh, so make sure you go to JivyFuel.com to get your Jivy Aid and Jivy Shaker. Use code Jivy at checkout for 20% off. All right, but now we are heading to the studio, which is where all the work gets done. All right, here I am. But whenever I go on a sick Dr. Mario run, you know, like 12 to 16 hours, it's because I'm drinking G Fuel and it gives me the energy I need to play Dr. Mario all day. Uh, right now I'm editing today's video slash vlog. Uh, also, I, I would want to get this Beltran, but there's still three guys ahead of me. So not gonna be able to do that for now. But all right guys, enough playing around. Let's play some BR. I uh, can't live out my dreams until I hit 10K. So let's get this channel to 10K as soon as possible so I can uh, become a full-time streamer or vlogger. All right, so this isn't gonna make any sense to you guys. You really have to watch all the way through the end because I did an episode, and then I did another episode, but then I combined the episodes, so I, I do an outro, and then an intro. I, I pretty much do two intros and two outros in this video. So just watch to the end, and that's that's really all I got to say. Coco Chris batting 6'11", that batting average has dropped, his performance has just not been there. I'm just kidding, I'm clearly just kidding. This card is something I don't understand how I'm hitting so well with this card. I know why. It's, it's his vision. It's absolutely his vision. Alright, so he's going to intentionally walk us to face Brett Wallace. I'm pretty sure he's bringing in a lefty now. So we may bring in a substitution as well. Bringing in Jason Wirth for Brett Wallace. Uh, we're going to bring in Jan Herbis to third base after. And look at that. Made a base running mistake, but at least we got the run. He is settling in now. Yon Herbis Solarte as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed. Right, we got Solarte up with one out. There's no way I just gave up a home run to Solarte. And the game is tied. Fatality. And he's gonna smoke one into the gap, which makes a decision to walk Carlos Beltran a lot easier. And a very quick start to. And now... All right, so we got Andrew Miller versus damn Daniel Murphy. I'm pretty sure we're expecting a bunt here. That that thought came to my head halfway through the pitch. And we're gonna get damn Daniel Murphy to chase a fastball out of the zone. That's exactly what we wanted. And on 3-0, and we get Tulowitzki to swing at a fastball that looked to be good to hit. And he's going to pop up to the catcher. Very good. And now we got the lefty Chris Coughlin up. And as long as we do not allow him to get his arms extended, we will be good. And we're good. Let's go. All right, so Benintendi seems to be my best option off the bench. So I'm screwed. No, I will take that. And now Aaron Loop is coming in to face Big Poppy. And we're going to smoke one right back up the middle for a base hit. We're not going to test anything with that decent. No, that's not a decent arm. That's a really damn good arm. All right. No outs first and second. Small ball time. I'm going to get roasted. I'm going to get flamed for that one, ain't I? I would much rather him face a righty. But base is loaded with Coco Crisp up. There's a sinker away. Okay, I did not realize he had a sinker. Very good to know. And that's smoked right back up the middle. And that's the ball game. We're going to walk it off. And we're going to continue undefeated so far. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. All right, so very good game number one. Here's where we're coming up against game number two. The Tribe, Omar Infante, shortstop, A-Rod, Joe Maurer, Justin Turner, Stephen Piscotti, Matt Adams, Adam Eaton, Kyle Loesch, Andrew Benintendi, pitcher batting eighth versus Jared Cozart. Base hit in his last at bat. 
There's a sinker up in the zone as he doesn't have a fastball, so he's going to be using that sinker. And there it is. That's the exact pitch we were looking for. And, um, yeah, wow. That ball was absolutely crushed. And he's got damn Daniel to deal with in an 0 and 1 count. Oh, we crushed that one just a tad early. All right, that ball's hit well. Is that in a gap? It is. It is just short of the wall. Good throw in. And we're in there. We're a double. All right, Coco's Chris still in there. He's leaving in the righty. Hit up the middle well, and that's a base hit. Can we test this? Looks like we can. He took a bad round. He's throwing home. Should have taken second, but I'm going to be comfortable with a two-run lead to start the game. We are just rolling right now. Late on that one. Back on it is the left fielder, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Around third and being waved on home. And the run is in the score from second. And we're going to get a single out of that. And that's another base hit. Everything is just clicking this game so far. He's going to throw that away, but not far enough for us to go anywhere. Missed a sinker in a good spot to hit. And that is just down the line. And we're going to get another run out of that in just a single yet again. And Omar Infante leading off. And he's going to sting that into the gap. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And a very quick start to the... Threw that sinker not where I wanted it exactly, but it ended up in a decent spot. We're going to finish him off Bye, have a great with a 12 6 curveball. And he makes the throw to Kirk to run second with one down now and that will bring in a former batting champion catcher Joe Mauer. not even taking not even taking the chance this is why you put him to lead off I'm gonna try to get him to ground out on the sinker again there it is six four three double play Taylor made beautiful start let's go oh my god Take this to the bank Who made that play? Is that Sano? That was a great play. And uh, we got a one-two count of Benintendi. We're going to strike him out here. Oh, I thought we had him. Let's try that again. One-two count of Benintendi. And a change up here is going to strike him out. Bye. Have a great time. As he uh, chases pretty much anything. And there's a second out of the inning. We're one out away. And it's uh, righty on righty versus Infante. But he hits right. He's pretty well. But he's going to ground out to damn Daniel. That's going to do it for this ball game. All right, guys, another good couple of wins to get us in the right direction. We're now, that's the record. Nothing really else to say. Going to maybe jump into this game right after. Guys, if you want to support my dreams of becoming a future vlogger, let's get this channel to 10,000 subs. Like, share, subscribe, do all that that I have to beg to make my channel increase. I really appreciate it, guys. No, but seriously, I really do appreciate you guys who come in and watch the videos and enjoy the Battle Royale games, enjoy the other stuff I do as well. I appreciate you guys who dropped the thumbs up in the comments. I love the comments. As you guys know, I, I answer the majority of my comments, and uh, I have conversations with you guys, especially on Twitter, uh, where, you know, I, I definitely interact a lot as well as on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on those as well. They're in the top corner at Jivy World. Uh, and yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, as always, please make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And peace. What is going on, YouTube? Jivy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Before I jump into today's game, I need to change my captain. However, today I am calling on the power of the one and only Harambe so that we can get a win today. And I don't really have much else to say. Let's just jump into this BR game and try, try, just try to win, man. That, that's, that's really it. All right, here's what we're coming up against. We are finally home. Freddie Freeman leading off. Ryan Braun, Neil Walker, Andre Dawson, Stephen Vogt, Ian Desmond at short, Seth Smith, Danny Valencia, and Zach Davis on the bump. But let's try to get through these three innings with a win. Just need to get through Freddie Freeman in that tough top of the lineup. Taiwan's number one player, man. This is going to be tough. 
Oh, we're playing against Chinese Taipei. I feel like I've seen this team somewhere. Closing in on first I think Top Shell played Yankee against this guy. Stadium. Could be Here confused. He Tonight, had a pretty solid record. Royale. All right, Freddie Freeman. Can't allow him to get those hands extended. Freddie Freeman. Good take to start the game. As he looks at a ball to start the inning, one and zero. Left field and deep. Good sinker, but it's going to get smacked. He can't get there as it falls in. The relay. And, and we're not going to get him on the relay, and that's a leadoff double. Backs him out of the box here. Good pitch, and we're going to strike out Ryan Braun on a changeup over the plate, only batting 191 with Neil Walker but 14 home runs. Very good hitter. Who is on deck? Andre Dawson. Should we walk him? I think we're going to pitch carefully, at least. Very good take. And there went that. Should have walked him. All right, Andre Dawson up. This guy's patience is very good. Going to be very tough to double Andre Dawson up. Like I said, going to be very tough to double him up, and we're only able to get one out of that. That's going to be all she wrote. Not going to face Steven Bo Bo Bringing in Andrew Miller. He's already playing around at first base. Must feel very comfortable with that lead. And we got him on a slider, but we got to work now. We have to work now. Big poppy up. This guy's got a cutter. And that is the that is the worst thing that could have happened. All right, so he's instantly bringing in the lefty for Daniel Murphy and Coco Crisp, who hits uh, right-handed pitching much better than he does lefties. And we missed it. All right, we got an 0-2 count of Coco versus Chris Sale. And we're going to line that right back up the middle with a simple contact swing. And now we got a runner on base. We're going to steal second base. Now we got a runner in scoring position with Jan Hervis up. No freaking way. No way. That pitch was down. <laughs> that is not correct. So he brought in Matt Holiday versus Andrew Miller. So I also made a move myself and brought in Matt Holiday. What? And can we get Matt Holiday on this two seamer in a good spot? I don't know if David Ortiz can get there. Where was my right fielder? Where was my right fielder? And we're going to walk. Now we are ahead in the count, which is exactly where you want to be. And here's a ball hit in the air. Bruce coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in. And the throw over the second is we, we got very lucky there. So he definitely has no interest in taking Chris Sale out. Sinking line drive out to right center. That gets down and he's you gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Freddie Freeman up, looking for a gopher ball. Gave it to him. And he just missed that fastball, and we're going to get out of this inning. But we're still down a run. You got to be kidding me. You just got to be kidding me. All right, Luke Roy coming in. I don't think he's going to bring in a righty. Good change up. He had me way out in front. And there's a ball in the gap. And Luke Roy delivers a freaking double. Not going to test Andre Dawson's arm. We're going to be happy with a double.
my god. We did it! Oh my god! 12 and 0 on a walk off from Big Poppy. Let's go! If this reward isn't sick, man, I oh! I thought I was done. I can't believe it. Not getting to 20 wins. That's a fact. So this this 12 game better be lit. 99 A rod. Not the best reward, but that's a couple hundred K. And then my 20 game reward is Mike Schmidt. I'm not even gonna play to 20 games. Like, what is the absolute point now? Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun recording that between today and yesterday. Uh. 99 Aaron. Glad I got a very nice reward. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. I'm gonna try to do more stuff like that if you guys enjoyed that. If not, then maybe I should just stop trying and actually become a real vlogger. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, guys. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And peace.